everybody, welcome to another Rod Squad Retro Reviews. A really quick video. Just want to touch base on something that's been go driving me crazy is what everyone's negative negative views or negativity or, or all the negative negativity on this and this is a plug and play that came out for ad games that it's called the uh bandai namco flash black flash flash flashback blast i'm sorry i'm kind of like tongue twisted right now anyway it was a lot, a lot of negativity in this and i don't understand what it is i've looked through the box i've looked at all the advertisement to it and there's nothing in here that says that you're going to get arcade emulation that's one thing and it seems to be the biggest thing that everyone's talking about is that the roms that are being used on this are the nintendo roms not arcade emulation and I don't understand it. I don't see it anywhere. And I look through this quite a bit. I don't see anything here that says that this is supposed to be arcade emulation. So I don't understand where that is coming from. On the other part about it is that, and again, I think it really has to do because everyone has such negative feelings on that game. And you know what? A lot of it is deserved so. But at the same token, this is a plug and play. This is something that's called for a quick fix. Not for you to be spending the whole day playing this. This is a quick 20, 15 minute games that you can go ahead and play real quick. No real instructions are needed. Plug it in and start playing. The, the, the part that I really like about it is the fact that there's no more wires. Before, maybe, maybe the AV yes. wires or the controller being connected to the wires and all that. This is all wireless. You connect it to your HDMI. You get a nice HDMI picture, as you can see. I'm looking at it right now. Everything looks really, really nice. The games play very well. Even if, even if to me, even if this is an NES Pac-Man ROM, I don't see anything wrong with this. I'm fine with it. So I guess it's for what you want or what you were expecting. Again... It cost me, uh, uh, what, what it cost us? We got it from Nine, Bed Bath. Nine, Bed Bath nine, and ten Bed, bucks. Bed Bath and Beyond, we got this. And you know what? I'm very happy for it. It's the, the picture looks real nice and clear to me. Um, I people are talking about the little whatever it is. I think it looks fine. Maybe I'm just not expecting arcade quality. If I wanted arcade quality, I'm going to spend a lot more than $15, $10, $20 for it. I'm telling you that that's a fact. And I have arcade quality. So. Stop the negativity, guys. This is something for a casual gamer to pick up, so they can go ahead and spend a few, you know, a few minutes, you know, a uh, uh, time and play a few old games, old classics. That's all it is. This is not for a true, true, true gamer. This is for a, a casual guy that just wants to have something to put up. The kids come by or something like that. Something they can mess with while you're doing your thing. Yes, the controller feels a little cheap. Yes, yes it, feels it does. It's a little cheap. Yes. It's a little light. It runs on the, what, the AAA batteries. AAA, AAA, AAA batteries, batteries, yeah. Right? But it works fine. It's, it's responsive. I can sit uh, um, all the way on the back over here and play it. Don't have to worry about tripping over any wires. Again, stop the negativity, guys. If you don't want it, don't buy it. Don't buy it. But if you're expecting arcade quality, don't look for this for arcade quality, please. If you want arcade quality, spend the real big money and get your arcade quality. This is NES ROMs. I have no problem with it. It plays fine. I'm good. Just a little rant from Rob Squad Retro Reviews. Wishing everybody a happy new year. Again, stop. Stop. Keep it retro. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, I don't see what the problem. You see a problem here? Nope. Anyway, guys, gotta get off their high horses. What do you think? Oh, all right. All right, we good. Thank you.